directly behind them. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Get on my bus, get on my yellow footprints right now. Scream, I sir. I sir. A group of 60 educators take their first steps off a school bus upon arriving on Paris Island at dawn. Your head and eyes are six foot front, and your mouth is shut. They prepare to hit the ground, containing symbolic yellow footprints as they share in the experience taken in by hundreds of thousands of United States Marines for more than 100 years. And now is the offensive street. Stand by to come. That's when it kind of hit me like, I, I can't turn around on this, and it's going to be, it's like they said on the bus, when the drill instructors come on the bus that's on, it was, it was definitely on. For these school teachers, principals, guidance counselors, and even two participants from law enforcement found out quickly just how strict and structured their week-long experience in boot camp would be. I wasn't nervous until we actually got there, and then the atmosphere being dark outside and seeing the uh, drill instructors outside, and then the immediate yelling, screaming, moving, not knowing what to expect, not knowing where you're going. The group of 60 gets split into two groups, RS Pittsburgh and RS Baltimore, each with a drill instructor. The journey that mirrors the 13-week boot camp mixed educational and physical elements. They literally marched us just like they do with the recruits. They yelled at us like the recruits. They made us exit lines like the recruits. And if we made mistakes, they, we had to do it over again. Much like real recruits, the days on the island kept educators busy from sun up to sun down. These numerous opportunities included touring recruits' squad bays to a commanding general's welcome, touring the on-base museum, and witnessing various recruits' formations, including a lineup leading into one of three meals for the day, better known as chow. The Marine Corps is not just about fighting, going to war or whatever. It's helping them be become better, to grow up and to become better citizens. Educators were exposed to various aspects of the Marines, finding themselves surprised at the fact that only 60% of Marine Corps jobs involved combat. The groups were briefed on Marine involvement in the air at the Marine Corps Air Station in nearby Beaufort, as well as water survival simulations. The aircrafts are, are pr pretty fascinating. A lot of things are involved. It's just not, you know, driving a plane. There's all kind of, you know, the ammunition that's involved, the bombs that are involved, you know, how involved the electronics are on those things. There was plenty of hands-on as well shooting M16s, the repel tower, and the ever-challenging confidence course. For my age, I think I did okay. <laughs> I guess it was mo mostly about conquering your fears. I'm a very shy person, even though I'm a school teacher. But this whole message was conquering your fears, fears and just do it. The Marine boot camp obstacle courses prove much more difficult for some educators versus others. It's very demanding on the body, every part of the body. I applaud the Marines' efforts, all the young men and women that come here. I applaud your efforts because, like I said, it's taxing on the body. Back to Paris Island for only the second time in his life, Greg Kent started boot camp on July 6th, 1993, and graduated 1st Battalion Bravo Company Platoon 1081 in October of that year. It was the best thing I ever did, and I, uh, I always encourage kids that want to get in law enforcement, that the military in general, uh, is, is a good start, and for me, the Marines, obviously, I have, I have a preference to. The final test for the educators comes in the form of the crucible. Recruits go through a demanding 54-hour period of team-building obstacles while rationing food. The brutal test takes these groups to the finish line. How in ordinary life will I ever have that experience again, to have someone screaming at you in your face? Knowing what the recruits go th uh, through for the 13 weeks they're here, uh, gain a whole new respect of uh, the armed forces, especially the Marines. I, I don't know many people that can do that. Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action News. Paris Island, South Carolina. Not just a 13-week home where civilians transform into United States Marines, but also home to those who help mold, shape, and make those Marines. The experience of becoming a drone instructor, actually running through the cycles, it really showed me how much my drone instructor put into me. Staff Sergeant Thomas Kelly has been a Marine Corps drill instructor for nearly nine months. Constantly moving from platoon to platoon, he's seen both sides of the process of how a Marine is made. Deficiencies have to be corrected whether it's from basics is how they're standing to how they're talking to marksmanship, physical fitness, those all progress throughout recruit training. 
and to make the end state of a basically trained Marine. Roughly 1.5 million Marines have been trained since the Corps' inception more than a century ago. The challenge for DIs? Each new platoon of recruits varies from 60 to 90 young men and women, typically ranging from ages 17 to 27. Meanwhile, often three and up to only five drill instructors at most are responsible for challenging the recruits mentally and physically through the duration of 70 training days. There's nothing that can compare to the camaraderie that you'll feel being a part of a drill instructor team and being a part of the unit where the end state is to make the future of the Marine Corps. Kelly stresses the importance of both attention to detail and focus, not only throughout Marine boot camp, but afterward as well. You put forth every single effort, every minute of every day is accounted for into making these recruits to be the best basically trained Marines possible. 71% of Marine Corps applicants range from 17 to 21 years old, but while most are ready when the time comes, not every individual is completely prepared when they arrive on the island. You're on your feet all day, uh, some recruits come here, they've never ran before, they've never PT before, so it's pretty demanding on their bodies. Recruits are put through three different phases during their training. Core values are stressed as well as close order drill, physical training, martial arts training, and academics in each phase. You definitely see a lot, um, the bigger picture of why we did a lot of things, a lot of the get backs, a lot of the um, training events we did. Um, a lot of the reasons that you don't really understand why your drill instructors are angry in the beginning, now you understand as a drill instructor. Ofa Mae Johnson enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1918, becoming the first female Marine and opening the door for women who have been instrumental to the Corps, making up the 4th Battalion. We do the same training. They, we have the same training days, we do the same training events, we have the same graduation requirements. So everything is pretty much the same, just small changes here and there. DI say the transition from recruit to drill instructor is a very unique one, something that cannot be compared to civilian life. As a recruit, you never understand the pains and the passion that goes into transforming a civilian into a United States Marine. As a drill instructor, you, you, you experience those pains that you, there would be no other way to describe it unless you went through. Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action News. The sights and sounds it takes to get here are made up of numerous moments that begin long before one of the most memorable days in the life of a young man or young woman. When you first get here, everything's very confusing, uh, very frustrating. Uh, you don't work as a team. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to drill. Uh, drilling is marching, and, and uh, eventually it starts to click, and, and everyone starts to come together. Arriving to Paris Island on December 12th, nearby Waterford native and Fort LaBeouf graduate Lucas Tokarsik has completed nearly half of his 70 training days in boot camp. I decided to do this because my family is in the military. Uh, my father's a Marine, and uh, I wanted to know what it was like to be a part of something bigger than myself. Tokarsik says team building is the most important concept to apply when arriving at the base. There's definitely a lot of people from places I've never been and, and people I've never expected to meet. He isn't the only Erie area recruit finding his way 13 hours away from home. You just have to learn to adapt quickly. Keith Bentley graduated from McDowell High School, and although he doesn't share a platoon with Tokarsik, he too made his way to boot camp in the second week of December, bringing a military background with him. One thing my parents always told me was always have a plan and have a backup plan. Uh, the military was always one of the things I've wanted to do. I always thought it was just the right thing to do. While Bentley focuses on the rigors of training, he eyes a future career in aeronautical engineering. From what I've seen, not only is aviation a really cool field, but the way technology is going, I think it's advancing very quickly. While boot camp continues for some, the long-awaited graduation day is here for others. Marines have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. They have that challenge, they have that honor. They have that title that everybody wants. The wait is almost through for General McLean graduate Hunter Poe, whose 13-week journey through boot camp comes down to its final stages. It's a complete uh, shell shock. It's just crazy from the moment you get off the bus to the time you graduate. For recruits like Poe, they look forward to the Corps' penultimate family day. This is the first contact recruits have face-to-face -face with family members during a five-hour stretch on the island. It probably was about a good month before I even got a letter from him. 
Um, and then they started coming, you know, more regularly. But I would spend every Monday through Friday, every morning before work, I'd mail a letter, you know, to them. That leads into graduation day. I couldn't sleep that night. I was restless. So waking up that morning knowing that you're going to feed Marines finally, it's, it's pretty good. It means a whole lot that you completed what you set out to do. The day comes for companies K and O, made up of eight platoons and 599 total recruits set to graduate. This includes 18 international recruits from 13 different countries who gained U.S. citizenship, and also Poe from the 3rd Battalion, Platoon 3006. We couldn't find him at first, but he came from behind us, and it was like one of the best moments like you could, for a parent that you could ever have. It, it was awesome. I have never been more proud of my son than him completing this. Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action News.